Hello, I'm Dr. Crowley and welcome to Case of the Day. Uh, typically we talk about uh, an interesting case, but today we're going to shift focus a little bit. had a person come in who has glaucoma who asked me about using marijuana as a treatment for glaucoma. And since there's been some new laws in different states that have passed, I thought it might be appropriate to go over uh, what marijuana has to do with, uh, with glaucoma and can it treat glaucoma. And I thought I'd be a little smart and come up with all kinds of terms and names for, you know, joint, reefer, different things, of, of a list of names of different slang words for marijuana. And I, I Googled it, and instead of having maybe 15 or 20, which I thought, end up being several hundred words as far as a slang for marijuana goes. So decided not to go to that route. Uh, but anyway, so um, first thing, marijuana is a, is a plant, obviously, that... Um, uh, the stems and flowers are crushed up and um, and then um, taken either by eating a brownie with old brownies or by smoking. Uh, and there's over 400 different chemicals actually in the marijuana plant. Most of them are cannabinoids. And the active ingredient, the major active ingredient, the psychoactive part, is THC. And so um, that's the major component that is felt to have its action as far as the, the, the benefits for some people that it has for nausea and different things associated with people who have cancer and cancer treatment. Uh, but there's been a, actually a lot of research done in glaucoma and marijuana in the past. And so we'll go over a little bit about that. So what is glaucoma? In simple terms, glaucoma means that the pressure inside your eye is higher than what your eye can tolerate and typically usually is higher than normal. The normal pressure is 10 to 21 millimeters of mercury uh, and the um, fluid is produced by a gland behind your pupil. It goes in front of your lens through the pupil and fills up the front of your eye and drain through a meshwork here like cheesecloth into Slim's Canal and then into your blood system. So there's a constant production and a constant flow of fluid out of your eye. And so um, we're not sure exactly the mechanism of how marijuana lowers the eye pressure, but it's felt that the studies were done that, this, that the outflow, that is the flow out of your eye, was increased uh, with the use of marijuana. And um, we think that's the, that's the most likely uh, mechanism of how it works. Um, and they tried actually making an eye drop out of THC and instilling that and it really didn't lower the eye pressure very much, surprisingly. And so then they also tried uh, with ingesting marijuana and that lowered the eye pressure but, but not significantly. And it turns out that actually smoking marijuana was the best route of lowering the eye pressure and in fact in the studies it lowered the eye pressure by 25 percent so it did have a significant reduction in the eye pressure the problem is is that its length of action was three or four hours and then the pressure would go back up and so that has been uh, a major problem with trying to use marijuana to treat glaucoma because of its short action so um, the other thing as far as treating using marijuana to treat glaucoma this is a a chronic life term long term disease and so you're going to have to be doing this you treating it for the rest of your life and someone who may have cancer who may be terminal then the other side effects aren't as important but when someone who's going to be treating glaucoma for a long time uh, marijuana does increase your heart rate it lowers the uh, blood pressure both diastolic and systolic there was a study recently out of New Zealand that it may contribute to strokes uh, there's, it may have an effect on your immune system. There's evidence of maybe increasing cancer risk in, a, in, in, in women who are pregnant. It has uh, caused some pregnancy problems. So, um, and then you have the psychotropic effects as well. So if you were, marijuana it doesn't turn out to be a great choice as far as treating glaucoma because it, it looks like it has to be smoked to, um, to be useful for glaucoma and then you would have to be smoking this every three or four hours around the clock so you'd have to get up in the middle of the night 
and smoke your marijuana in order to keep your eye pressure low and no one's going to do that and you would be actually basically stoned all the time so you couldn't function in life you might treat your glaucoma but you would have trouble functioning uh, as much as you would have to smoke to keep your eye pressure down so it turns out that marijuana does lower eye pressure by 25 percent but it's not a long-term uh, answer to treating glaucoma and um, if they come out with something that does work as far as an eye drop or something else where you would still be able to function you wouldn't get the big psychotropic effect then maybe someday there would be some way it can be used maybe there's some other chemical in the plant that smoked uh, combined with the THC that causes this pressure lowering effect but really nobody knows so if you have any questions about uh, this or any other subject please feel free to contact us through the website and if not, may God bless you with healthy eyes and great vision.